in your state, if you're required to keep originals in the office for or for, the, for a number of days, such as 30 days, uh, and uh, you will wait a number of days, and then you have to send out originals to either a noticing attorney or to file the court, then use the function as you send originals out under the production menu called send originals out. Now when you go into that function, uh, the search criteria filter will automatically have uh, 30 days prior to today's date come up, which you can change the range and then simply click the search button and it'll pull up all jobs having a job date of exactly 30 days before. And to send the originals out, simply double click into one or right click view. In the witness details screen, click the additional tab and here put in the information as you send originals out. So send originals to and uh, something like this and I sent it via UPS. It was uh, today's date and uh, yes in our state we have a read and sign uh, requirement so I'll switch that to yes and I'll set the date that read and sign was done uh, and then you can actually pull up a party who did read and sign so let's say uh, Daniel Berg is the one who actually did it so we can put that in and you can also specify the party who signed affidavit or errata sheets if it's an app applicable now the field return due date uh, is used if you are sending this transcript out to the witness for example uh, for a signature and uh, you wanted to tell the system that it is due by in your office certain date you can use that field and uh, and then when you receive the transcript from the witness then you can actually use the field called receive the date so those two fields the receive the date and return due date can be used as the uh, flags or uh, uh, trigger uh, system, a tickler system to keep track of w the transcripts that are out to the witness.